I woke up today with a thought it's a perfect day to mill something on a DIY Dremel CNC. So I got out of bed, weather was perfect, I got into the car, I drove to the workshop and when I entered the workshop I saw this. Which wasn't a big surprise for me because a few days before I disassembled the CNC completely. Why? Well, I have quite a lot of reasons for that. The first one, while milling aluminum, aluminum chips got stuck in the lead screw and because of that stepper motors missed few steps and I broke the milling bits so I had to clean the lead screws, I already did that. I'm also working on an instructable about DIY Dremel CNC and I want to have perfect pictures in this instructable so instead of using frames from the videos that I previously made I want to assemble this CNC again, take perfect pictures and show really precisely how to build this machine and the last reason I want to add few upgrades. Nothing fancy, just simple upgrades that hopefully will make this machine work better and it will be also easier to use. And that's what this video is about, upgrades to the DIY Dremel CNC. Before we restart assembly, let's talk a little bit about what I want to upgrade. And the first upgrade, I want to put additional brass nut, like so, in each part to prevent the backslash, hopefully it will work good enough. You can also use brass nut with a spring inside and there is a guy on YouTube that built my machine and made a video about those brass nuts with spring. I will link it down below so that you can watch it. Another upgrade, I want to put a special metal threads inside this plywood table. That's how it look like, I just have to drill a hole, I, can you see it? I just have to drill a hole, put this in place, I actually have quite a lot of them so that it will be easier to attach the material that I want to mill into the table of the CNC and the last, the last upgrade that I want to add is this thing as I said I have a problem with aluminum chips that got stuck into the lead screw and I have to protect the lead screws from that because I don't want to end up with a broken bit again so hopefully this aluminum profile 50 by 30 millimeters will be good enough. Some kind of telescopic cover would be even better, but I didn't find anything like this small enough online. And also those are quite expensive and this is cheap. Hopefully it will be good enough and if not, I will try to find another solution. The first thing that I have to do is to lay out those inserts, nuts, threads, whatever it's called on the table of the CNC, then drill the holes and put those in place with a hammer. Let's do it! Table of the CNC is ready, really not a lot of work and right now it will be way easier to fix the material to the table of the CNC. I really recommend this upgrade, I even didn't test it yet but it should work fine. And right now I have to assemble the CNC and take pictures of that with this camera. But here I have my Xiaomi, so I will make a time lapse. It all started when the Los Angeles City Council imposed what it called a road diet, meaning lanes of traffic were removed in favor of building bike lanes and adding space to parking. Mechanical assembly of the CNC is ready. I also already faced the problem with those double nuts that I wanted to do on each lead screw. Unfortunately, the pitch of those nuts is completely different than pitch of the lead screw, so I can't use it. I have to order them online and I'm not sure how long it will take to ship them to me, so I'm not going to do this in this video. And right now I will put in place this aluminum profile to protect lead screws uh, and then I will assemble the electronics and take pictures of that. I also have to figure out how to cut it, how to mount it and how long it should be.
coils are in place. Size of them is perfect for these machines, like all of the dimensions are exactly as they should be and I end up making them about 47 centimeters long because I have a problem with those couplers and screw of those couplers that hit the profile so I make them a little bit shorter and it really looks nice, looks fine, hopefully will do its job. Nailed it, everything works fine. That was a lot of work. I took over 500 pictures and right now I have to choose like 50, maybe 60 for the instructable. So I have a lot of work to do and I would like to finish it before the end of epilogue contest. I hope you enjoyed this video of building the Dremel CNC again and adding the upgrades. The nut upgrade doesn't work out as I wanted to, but the table upgrade and those protective covers for the lid screw are great upgrades and if you already built the machine, I really recommend you upgrading it and if you are in the process of building, just add it to your machine. As always, thank you very much for watching, happy making and don't forget to check out this instructable, I will put a link in the description. Bye!